uh, very good morning my dear student uh, so today first we are uh, going inside the python program uh, different type of python programs are there different uh, manners of python programs are there in your uh, schedule uh, so you will going to find it uh, that those the different pattern of program uh, all the different type with the functions and all uh, we are going to show to you so uh, this is the python program the basic uh, python implementation in the interpreting mode uh, that has been shown to you uh, based on that i am going to show you again but uh, here today i am going to show in a script base what is mainly the script base that we will going to do because our maximum of the program that we will going to do uh, with a script base so in a script base what we find that when we uh, used to do the python program python program there are some uh, basic uh, things that we have like uh, calling the functions we can make our own uh, particular function we can call it and we can work on it okay so this is the thing uh, we i will going to show to you today let uh, see uh, the different programs that i'll going to show to you now let us see uh, the program that i'll going to do for you see here what i am writing here uh, you see that uh, suppose a i am giving some variables uh, i am giving uh, some variables suppose a equals to within double inverted comma i am writing so uh, what we uh, should know from here that uh, in a python there are some uh, variables we can use uh, there are some keywords are there okay so all these keywords and variables keywords we will not use them okay as a variable part so all these things are there and in this particular uh, thing what we can find it that when we have uh, the variable there are the different type of declarations of the data like character uh, type declaration string pattern of declaration isn't it so uh, character pattern of declaration string pattern of declarations all these different type and different pattern of declarations that uh, uh, we will going to have that we will going to find that each and every uh, particular pattern of declaration uh, we have the program and we uh, will going to do the program suppose here i am writing uh, c o m e welcome in the ORLD world of Python okay then I am closing the inverted comma after I do this see here it come to the next part so in this part what I will write suppose I am writing P R I N T print print what a so as I write print a enter C welcome in the world of Python that means what I have given it uh, that the particular thing will going to come here this is what an interactive mode of Python programming okay this is an interactive mode of an Python programming next what suppose I want to add uh, some three values suppose a equals to um, 20 next I am giving suppose b equals to 30 next i am giving suppose c equals to uh, 40 okay those the three value i have given after giving those three values what i am doing sum 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 equals to suppose a plus b plus c okay so that i have written here now i am writing p r i n t print sum so as I have written it you see this is the output what it is coming here that means here what we can find that when you will going to write your interactive program in the interactive program this particular 3 greater than sign you will always give okay that will indicate that you are doing a program in an interactive mode okay so this is what you can find it that uh, is been done and that has been worked with fine now suppose i am uh, writing here uh, another program uh, to do the multiplication suppose i am giving a uh, equals to uh, suppose 50 okay and uh, b equals to suppose 60 any value we can give now i am writing mal a mu l mal means multiplication equals to or i can use another value i can use the c also equals to a, uh, a into b into means asterisk so a into b when i am giving it now i am writing p r i n t print what multiplication okay so as i am writing this c this is the value what is been shown here 
clear so this is the way how we can um, bring this particular structure and how we can work on this particular structure so this is how you can see it that uh, this is the interactive mode we are saying that this is what mode this is an interactive mode and based on this interactive mode what we are doing we are uh, doing the program and we are uh, sending uh, uh, the instructions as we are sending the instruction we are using those instructions and when we are using those instructions we find it that we will going to get some result so this is uh, the way that you will find it that we will going to have a particular pattern or particular type that we are using in the interactive form okay or in the interactive mode clear so uh, this is how uh, the interactive uh, program will be done so in this particular interactive program now you see another thing suppose i am writing uh, a equals to uh, 20 or uh, 40 okay and uh, b equals to suppose i am writing uh, 5 okay then i am writing c equals to a divided by b okay now i am writing print p r i n t print what print c so as i have write writing this one c it has been divided that means what we are getting it this particular value we are getting it another thing that i am uh, doing in the particular area you see it here that suppose i am writing suppose d equals to what a divided by suppose 3 okay a divided by 3 so now i am writing p r i n t print print what d okay so d is printed say d is showing 13 another i am suppose i am writing e equals to a now i am giving here a percentage sign okay percentage uh, then what suppose 3 enter now P R I N T print E. Okay, so you see here in these three cases, the three pattern of the things that I have given here. Uh, there I have given A equals to 40, uh, next I have given B equals to 5, next I have given C uh, equals to A divided by this is divide sign divided by B. So print C, it is showing us uh, 8 okay now next what i have given d equals to a divided by 3 that means a is 40 40 divided by 3 is 13 but uh, there will be after point some decimal value will going to come and <clears throat> here you see when i have given it it is showing us one that means what it is showing to us is it giving a wrong value it is giving a, a wrong answer then i will say and that it is not so so what then it is doing first case in this particular case where uh, i have given here d equals to a divided by 3 this particular case what i am doing when i am doing this particular one uh, we are uh, doing only the division that means here you will going to get the quotient portion okay quotient part that means quotient part no decimal will going to come here what is the reminder is coming that reminder will be there so it will not show you the reminder now uh, in this particular area uh, when i am giving this percentage percentage means what we say in our computer language in python we say is modulus okay so modulus means here this is not a percentage what it will going to give you it will going to give you the reminder so when you give a slash that will going to give you the quotient like as it is giving to you and when you give you uh, the percentage that will going to give you the remainder as the remainder when you divide it uh, by 3 you will going to get a remainder 1. So this is how you can see this is how you can find it uh, that those the different type of interactive mode program that you can do and you can work on this particular interactive mode program. Now I am going to come in the script based programming that how we can do the script based programming and how we can work on this particular script based programming because uh, there what I said that many of our program is an interactive program and in this particular interactive program what is there uh, that uh, that will uh, going to execute 
okay but in the uh, script based part in the script based part is what we are making the structures we are making the particular form so as we are making the particular form we are uh, constructing that uh, particular program and uh, we are calling the program and we uh, are running the program to find out what is the output we are getting from there isn't it so this is what we can say that we have a different type of program so today uh, in the script base uh, the first program that i'll going to show you see it now see this particular program what you see in this particular program you see sir what you have written here only and uh, def and uh, then world and uh, then first bracket open first bracket close then colon then you see i have said you this is very case sensitive and uh, this is very uh, case sensitive as well as this is very place sensitive also see here def i have written here and this p print has came here not here okay so um, by default uh, your cursor will going to come in the position from where you required to start so you have to manage uh, the area that means under this def i am giving the print okay this is the thing uh, first thing you remember now, what is def def means what that i am constructing here one particular pattern of function isn't it so this is the function that i am constructing here what is the function function name is world clear the function name is world now under this particular function what you find that has been written here hello world print hello world now if i run this one it will not going to show you anything that means i have to call this function in some other uh, part and when i call this in some other part then only i can run this particular program and i can find out what will be the value of it okay so what uh, will it will going to do so now i am showing you second program in reference to it what is the second program is there second program in reference to this particular one now see this particular one what i have done here previously you have seen that i have written there def uh, then the name uh, hello and i have written here print uh, that particular command i have given there now when i have created that particular function what i have written import hello that means from here one conclusion you can come out that when you have to bring any type of function function means any pattern of program what we say header file in uh, your uh, particular c language here we say that uh, the uh, program uh, that are attached to it the different pattern of program based on which the other program will going to work isn't it so those the program what is uh, there we can find it uh, that uh, there is a different types of uh, different types of the functions are there that here i have created one uh, program itself and i have called that program what the program name hello as i have called this hello you see then uh, what i have written hello dot world open the bracket and close the bracket that means under the world is a particular function will run under what hello so let us see what is the output it is showing to us okay what pattern of output we can find from here let us see this particular thing now you see the output as we have run the program uh, you see the output how the output is there hello world now why hello world is printed because you see it that when uh, we have the particular uh, structures when we have the particular number uh, that we have created one function and in this function what we have written there inside the function that uh, print hello world so i have called that particular function i have find that i am calling uh, that particular function so as i am calling that particular function in this uh, particular function uh, uh, that we are uh, doing and we are making this particular function for the part of what uh, for the uh, part of a uh, different patterns of the structures that we are using there okay different type of structures that we are using there so as we are making the different pattern of the structures uh, that means a program that we are making we are making here what not we are not importing any function from any other place except that what has been done here except that we have done here that we uh, build that particular program and we make that particular program okay we have created it we have created it uh, by our own and as we have created it by our own that means this is the particular thing what we find this is the particular part what we find that they are been working okay they are been working in this manner where we are having uh, a, a type of a function that is creating by us 
isn't it so this is how what is there this is how we can find it that we are working on this particular pattern of structures and we are working on this particular pattern of structures clear so this is the uh, way or this is the part of the way that we find it that how we will uh, uh, how we will going to have uh, a particular structures and how we will going to work on the particular structures that is there okay so this is uh, the thing this is the part uh, that you are having a program and you are executing the program clear so uh, this is what about the first program where uh, we have created what we have created our own function and creating our own function we have called that function okay when we have created uh, our own function and creating our own function we have called that function so as we find it that when we are creating our own function and we uh, call that particular function uh, that uh, we find it uh, that each and every uh, structures that we are having each and every uh, structures that we find it that uh, all the structures we will uh, going to have uh, in our uh, different area or in our different part uh, where we are having this particular format isn't it so um, we find it that we can also create our own particular function this is what the first uh, program is Now see the second program. In this program what we have done and or what I have done here uh, you also do in this way. This is one a script based program that means what we are writing a script based program. In this particular script based program what I have taken I have taken first one variable. What is the variable A? So any variable you can take but there is a reserved variable or the keywords those the reserved variable and keywords you will not going to take okay you will not going to take those the reserve variable and keyword except that any type of variable that you can take here okay so this is the thing what has been taken a after that what what will be the type of it okay that a type we don't know so type what has been given int it is an int means integer pattern okay so int means integer pattern then bracket open then input what to input input this particular thing is for what purpose enter the number see here i have given within a double inverted comma okay this is means this is the instructions that you are giving to the uh, user okay as you run the program this the instruction will be there to the user okay next what what we uh, so uh, when you run the program there you find a, a space will be created and there you have an option uh, to give a number okay so this is the instructions why it is in double inverted comma because they are in the character variables next what i have taken b b equals to what int int means integer value okay decimal value is not there if you want to take a floating point that you can give your float then input what input is there enter the second number okay this has been given then it will going to do the work average equals to uh, a plus b divided by 2 now when it is done now how to print it how to print the thing print we will i have shown you in the interactive mode also print you will going to write the bracket open that double inverted comma open the average is that means this is the thing what will be printed there then avg avg means you will call this particular variable this under this variable what it is doing it is taking a and b and it is dividing that uh, value with two and that the value what is uh, the answer is there that will be called here and that will be printed here okay so this is how you can see it this is how we can find it uh, that uh, those the particular uh, structures we can find those the particular part we can find that we are working on this uh, particular structures now let's see what is the output now how to do the output you will go to the run and from the run you will click on f5 or uh, run module okay now i'll show you uh, what the output of it now you see that I, as I have given there uh, the F5 uh, and as I have run the program see here uh, there is uh, the cursor blinking and it has asked for the first number suppose first number I give here 10 then enter enter the second number suppose I give here 20 now what I have done 10 plus uh, 20 that to be divided by 2 that has been given there so average is 15 
okay so this is what that means uh, those the thing what we have written under the inverted comma you can find it uh, that will be uh, shown here as an instructions okay previous the hello world program is there and see here this is the particular program that means what we are giving some instructions as we are uh, giving the instructions that based on the instruction user will understand that if there is no such instruction then what the user will do user don't know our blank space is coming and cursor is blinking there okay if blank space is coming and cursor is blinking there uh, we can find here uh, that uh, particular instructions what we have particular pattern of instructions what we are giving uh, we find it each and every instructions uh, that are to be given to the user so that the user can understand uh, what the thing is and how the thing will going to work for okay so this is the part this is the thing what we have done what we have an average average means average of that uh, formula i have given there based on that particular uh, formula what we find uh, the thing is been working here okay uh, we find it that particular thing is been uh, executed here okay so this is how what we can do we can make the program these are the small programs uh, i have shown you today interactive program as well as what uh, the script based programming okay so script based programming our maximum program will be a script based programming and based on that you will going to do the program so thank you students today i am ending my session here thank you all